When I say mind control, what comes to mind is probably subliminal messages, Illuminati government conspiracies, or crazy wizard fortune tellers. Don't worry, I would never put anything like that in my videos. The mind control I'm talking about is using your thoughts to control technology. Seriously, Gigafied, what futuristic Star Wars dystopian are you living in? That technology doesn't exist yet. It's actually more common than you might be aware. From mind-controlled prosthetics and exoskeletons to toy helicopters and consumer-level games. But how does this work? How is it possible? Inside everyone's pretty little head is this gnarly, squishy, fatty mass. It's functionally dependent upon neurons that communicate through electrical impulses. And as we've covered before, electrical impulses give off electromagnetic waves. And brain waves are no different. This means that we can use devices to measure the different frequencies of our brain waves. This is known as electric... Electron... EEG. And by converting the EEG results to numerical values, we can use our brain activity as computer input to control various technologies. This is known as a brain-computer interface, and in its simplest form, that's what I have here. This is a Star Wars Force Trainer toy that you can get for around $40 online. It has a chip in it that reads beta waves and uses them to control the height of this ball. So let's see if we can hack into it to control other things. Removing the batteries and opening up the headset, we can see that it uses this, a NeuroSky EEG chip that can be found in many other similar products. You can see that it has a T and R pin that transmits and receives the EEG data. We want to solder a wire to the T pin to output the data to our computer and another wire to the ground terminal. In order to translate the data to our computer, we'll need to use an Arduino. So connect the transmit wire to the receive pin on the Arduino and the ground wire to the ground pin. Then on your computer, download the Arduino brain library from here and save it to your Arduino libraries folder. Plug the Arduino into your computer and upload the brain serial test sketch to it. Opening up the serial console, you should start seeing data. The first number is the communication, 200 is bad, 0 is good. The second and third numbers are the attention and meditation values. Now that we have the data, what can we do with it? Let's edit the code to loop through the brainwave data and create a meditation variable. Then let's check for a good connection and if the meditation value is less than 50, let's turn the LED on. Uploading it and testing it out, once your meditation value drops below zero, the LED should turn on. But what about controlling other objects with your mind? Well, the ideal solution would be wireless because the headset looks dumb enough without having a lot of extra wires coming from it. I like the infrared solution because that means we can control any electronic device that has an infrared remote control. But to do this, we're going to need an IR LED and an IR receiver. Luckily, I happen to have this old broken VCR laying around with perfect salvageable parts. But the main part that we're interested in is this little IR receiver. Then on the remote side, pop it open and remove the LED from it. Take these parts along with a 100 ohm resistor and attach them to the Arduino like this and plug it into your computer. You'll then want to download the Arduino IR library and put it into your library's folder. Create a new program with this code, upload it to Arduino, and then open the console. When you aim a remote at the receiver and press a button, the console should show that button's code. Write this down for the button that you want to emulate. Now on the sending side, you want to load up this IR send demo code and replace this with the IR type you recorded and this with the button code. Upload it, open up the console, and place the Arduino near the object you want to control. Whenever you enter anything into the console, it should activate the IR LED and send the signal to that device. Now all we have to do is combine the mind control with the IR LED. So you can remove the receiver because we won't need it anymore, and then add back the mind control wires. This is what my final Arduino mind control headset looks like. And then after that, just edit your original LED code so that instead of turning on an LED, it sends an IR signal instead. Then upload it and test it out. 
If you don't need the console, you can remove the USB cable and attach a battery to the Arduino for a completely wireless operation. This video only scratches the surface, but it should give you a head start on all the different things that you can control using your mind. What would you control? Let me know in the comments below. I'm anticipating a lot of world domination comments. All right, if you got any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign, donating via Bitcoin, commenting, liking, subscribing, or following me on Twitter. And as always, for more, go to tinkernut.com.